What has working with lawyers taught you about business? It has taught me a ton. Um, I went to business school in my undergrad, so I actually had to take some law schools. I'm sure you had to as well. And it's just like the law classes I had to take were like, I think I had to take two of them and they're very basic employment kind of law classes. Uh, but they do give you a window into, you know, how contracts work. Like what is the basic you need, you know, you need mutual consideration in a contract. What are the basic things, you know, so I at least had that luckily, because a lot of, a lot of my peers that are programmers that become founders, like they get this legal paperwork and they're like, Oh, what do I do? Um, but the things that the lawyers have taught me over time is, is basically what to look out for in contracts, what, you know, their a lawyer's entire job, their entire job is to mitigate and minimize risk. Right. And so they've really taught me that, you know, your, your business is under constant attack and you have to watch out for that. A lot of us, a lot of business people think that the attack are competitors, right. Or market environments. Attacks can come from within like employees, you know, partners, clients, investors. So you need to basically, you need, you know, the lawyer is there to help you navigate those, those tricky waters. And there are so many laws out there and so many ways that you can structure contracts that I didn't even know existed until I started working with lawyers and, and, you know, in around my business. And it's made me so much smarter and it's actually allowed me to even move more quickly. It saves me money. Uh, I was talking to an investor friend of mine. There, there are a couple really common mess ups that founders do in startups. First of all, is they, they don't get contracts for consultants. So early on, you're moving really, really quickly. And you're like, oh, I just need this code done. I need another set of hands. And then you just hand out a GitHub key and like people start hacking. And then the problem with that is, is if you don't have a contractual relationship with somebody, and you just have like a couple of emails and IMs like that does nothing but cause your lawyer to like lose his hair. Right. Because that person, there are, there are automatic employment laws in a lot of States, particularly in California like California has some very European esque employment laws. So, you know, watching out for that has saved me money. I mean, I, you know, personally myself and in, in a company, uh, and early on in simple geo, um, my co-founder hired a contractor and we ended up at the time when, you know, we didn't end up getting paperwork and ended up costing us when we ended up letting that guy go a lot of money. Um, another common mess up is uh, there's this thing called a, uh, an 83 B and you're supposed to file this with the IRS when you get equity in a company. Um, and that starts your capital, your capital, your capital gains uh, clock ticking. That's something lawyers do. It's this kind of automatic stuff. Uh, my my co-founder in Simple Geo and his first company did not file that, and that was the difference between fifteen percent tax rate and a forty eight percent tax rate when he sold his company, and he ended up paying you know thirty three percent more in taxes than he should have. So what I basically learned from my lawyers is I've learned it's interesting. I've learned a couple things. First of all, I learned how to read contracts and I know what to look out for. Uh, which actually is kind of ironic. The lawyer has basically trained me up to the point where I'm like a junior paralegal and I'm like saving myself money. So I, I redline and read all the agreements that I get before I go back to the lawyers. Um, the other thing, and it saves me money with employees. It saved me money with taxes. It's, you know, I mean, it, I very, very happily write my check to my lawyer. Uh, accountants are very similar. Um, those are the easiest checks for me to write along with my employees.